So would someone care to ask me a question, please? Yes, this man first, please. <clears throat> Hello, Barry, and uh, I'm Yari from Finland. Yes, Yarik. Uh, first, I w want to thank you from all of my heart that your truth is, has saved my life and uh, turned it to the good and beautiful direction. Um, my question is, because I have this quite a high pressure, and that's why I'm here. I, and, um, so what do you, what's this pressure that you have in you? Describe well, it for me. Uh, well, it's a uh, the, the very heavy pounders in my chest. Mm -hmm. It has been a long time in my life, and then in the head, and in the, actually in the whole body. Okay. And uh, I, I see that it, it has been that I have been too attached in the work and kind of uh, trying to leave that instead of uh, the loving woman. Yes. And um, now I, it's time to let go because now in my life there's a beautiful woman and I love her and uh, these uh, attachments, I, I, I knew that, I knew, I know that it's in the way for me to really to, uh, to love her. Yeah. Well said. Now, you'll see what you said, that you've got the band across here. I have mentioned that the place for all this emotion, which is tension, is in the, in the belly, here. And that if you allowed it to, to think about it, it rises up first to the chest, and then you get a band across here and you start sighing, often sighing, and you have a pain there, a band across there. Then it gets into the throat where you can get emotional and can't speak, and then it gets into the brain where you can't stop thinking. Now what you have to do, you must have heard me say this, it's in many of my early tapes and meditation, that you have to drop the tension in your body down towards the belly. Now, you don't really drop it down. What you do is you relax where it's holding on. So if I relax, like now, this very moment, if I relax my throat, it is quite possible to relax the throat. And then any tensions that's in there can actually be felt to drop down because tension must hold on to something. And if I release the tension, the holding on to, it will drop down. And then it gets into the chest, and that's a difficult one, because it usually means that there's quite an accumulation there. So then I have to spend time in meditation, relaxing my chest spending time in meditation of no thought, practicing no thought. Because this stuff will always endeavor to make you think. Thinking affirms it and gives it life. If you're away from your lover and you think about her, you give the loneliness life and you suffer more. That's the way you can test it. So you don't think to give this stuff life. You just relax more and more. You walk around, you see the trees. Instead of getting so tied up as you quite rightly described in your work, thinking you're going to achieve something, because you're not. It's all going to die, you're going to die, it's all going to pass away. But you've got to do what you do, but you don't have to be so attached to it, do you? You've got to practice this, getting this stuff down. As you quite so rightly said, keep your head straight. So rightly said, it will get in the way of your loving, loving your woman. So you practice getting it down. And then you have to get rid of your prisoners. And I suggest, if you haven't got it, that you get my tape. Start meditating now. I do have it. Or I'll then play it again. And do it. And do what it says and breathe like it says. Do everything, don't just gloss it over and then put it in the drawer. Do it and you will find it works for you, as many have found. Okay? But I hear your good intent. 
you are endeavoring to purify your psyche by what you're doing. And you're going to, you're going to do it. You're going to do better and better. You don't have to worry. There may be times of dips, but you're going to do it, all of you. You're doing better and better. And as you do better and better in clearing your psyche of yourself as much as it is possible, your external life gets better. You've drawn to yourself, you say, a lovely woman. Is that true? Yes. Well, that's quite something for a man to draw a beautiful woman to him. is one of the rarest things on this earth. We don't know that because mostly in our sexual charging around, we have sex here and we go there and we have a partnership there and then and you. But really, when a man starts to wake up like you have and you draw to yourself a woman that you say, I love her, does she love you? Do you love him? Yes, I do. Yeah, well, that's the most beautiful thing. Don't let it go. Keep this thing at bay, this man who hates you. It is yourself that hates you. You must not give it any. You must not fight with it. You can't fight it. You have to give it nothing to hold on to. No thought to hold on to. And then it will get down here. It will struggle to come up and want to fight you. I want you to think about it. And you can never fight it like that. Because its name is thought. And if it can make you think, it's itself getting stronger. So you keep it down there as the emotion that it is and you cop it. Do you know the word cop it in your language? What's the word cop it, please? You bear it. No, it's not strong enough. You take it. You take it, but it's not, not as good as you cop it. You suffer it. you suffer it, right? Yeah, you suffer it. That's, you suffer it down here. But suffering is thought, unfortunately. Pain has no thought in it. But when we think about pain, we get suffering. People don't know that, but anyway, that's how it is. So you don't think about it. You just bear it in there, surround it with your knowledge, and don't think about it. And that will gradually reduce it. Okay? Thank you. Start meditating now. Meditation is discovering what you are now, not what you have been or think you are, but the truth of yourself. I will teach you as you listen, but you must listen with your whole attention. I speak to the part of you that is most true and most real.